ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel welcome back to a wonder kid watch where today we're taking a look at a player that was mentioned in the comments so make sure you leave a comment down below uh, if you have any ideas for players to have a look at but it's ivan milosevic milosevic let me know in the comments if you can uh try and guide me on how to say his second name because it's a very very what tough one for me to say anyway um but looks very interesting 21 years old so one of the older players for us to take a look at but certainly one that will be interesting to see looks very good mentally very well rounded um got some nice technical stats as well as physical so as a centre midfielder um looks very very tidy at Vodovac which is where he's currently at. Uh, with that said, he's also made 321 appearances for Serbia, so it'll be interesting to see if he manages to make any more. Uh, but let's jump ahead and take a look at his attributes before we jump further. Uh, 109 current ability, 138 potential, so he's pretty good already, as we're aware, but reaching that 138 might just take him to the next level. So let's take a look how he gets on uh, in the next 10 years. And here we are, 10 years on. He is now 31 years old, so he's getting to the latter stages of his career. Um, not exactly his prime, as we know. He started at 21 years old, but uh, he's currently at Red Star, made 10 under-21 appearances now for Serbia, scoring a goal as well, but hasn't made an appearance for the first team as of yet. Still plenty of time, though, as we know. Looks still very well-rounded. Of course, will have declined slightly because of his age, but we can see here... Um, okay, interesting... Um, uh, Voldovac is where he was at when we first met him. Um, you can see he performed pretty well for them in the Super League in Serbia uh, before a £750,000 move to Red Star, where he was then back and forth with Graficar, which I'm, I'm not in Is that one of their kind of backup clubs? Or I don't, don't fully know. <laughs> I'm not fully astute with the um, Serbian leagues, but it doesn't look like he actually played for them at all. Uh, it just looks like he was around the club um, because he's played most of his games for the Red Star and it looks like he's done okay. Uh, nothing exceptional, but was obviously a solid player for them and he's played a lot of games for them over the years. Uh, taking a look at his milestones though, uh, competitions has won the Serbian Cup with Red Star uh, and personal accolades, best 11s uh, are certainly in order. Otherwise, nothing else too much to note of um so nothing spectacular uh, stayed in serbia let's take a look at his attributes though um how's he got on there 111 out of 138 of course um it has gone up but maybe would have been a bit higher at a, earlier on in his career as obviously we've missed his prime years but with that said we will leave it there of course this was a one that a uh, Oh, this was a player that was mentioned in the comments so make sure you leave uh, any comments down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and i'll try and get those done and of course leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out but with that we'll leave it there thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one